John said, while you guys are talking about params, how can I adjust my non-MOPA source to make a nice Z mark on my 50 watt 200 lens? You do not need MOPA to get a Z mark. Um, although non-MOPA I... like JPTLP or non-MOPA like Q switch radius. So that's a good point too. So technically speaking, the JPTLP series, while it isn't a pulse width unlocked laser, it is technically marketed as a MOPA laser. Yeah. Um, so there's that. So I guess we're mincing definitions, but um, you can get a Z mark on a Rakus, on a Max. It is all about adjusting your power. Uh, the the key goal is to get heat down into it without ablating, which is the purpose behind the defocus, by the way. Uh, you're able to get more heat down um, and absorbed into the metal without it being focused enough in order to ablate. Mm -hmm. um, a 200 lens, I would argue, is a bigger roadblock to you than it being a non-MOPA source because the bigger the lens you have, the bigger the defocus you need to do and the more fine-tuning adjustment it's going to take in order to get that heat down properly. Um, and it's slow. Uh, so don't try and speed it up. Uh, those are my tips.